Hey there, let's talk about batteries. One of the questions we get a lot is how to install a BMS on a battery and specifically how to, to combine in two 24 volt modules into 48. And the reason why that seems to be a question is because we make a bunch of 24 volt modules, right? 7S like this, like these ones, and then the bigger ones that we're starting to make. And the reason we make them in 24 volts and not 48 like a lot of you guys want them, it's because if you make them 48, then you can't use them in a small system that is 24 volts, right? But if you make them 24 volts, then you can use them in small systems for like RVs and stuff like that. Um, and you could also just scale up by connecting two of these modules in series and then using them in larger 48 volt systems. And so that's why you can do both. You can do small systems and bigger systems with the same one. But people have trouble figuring out how to combine two of these 24 volt uh, modules and then connecting a 48 volt uh, BMS. So today I'm gonna show you one little tool that I've made here. Uh, and this is one of a series of tools that, that we have, right? These are 48 volt 14S BMS. And I'm gonna show you how to connect using this thing into our line of modules because they all use that same little connector here. This is an IDC connector, 16 pin. And so because of that, well, connecting a BMS should be pretty simple using this little tool here. So let's go to bench over there and show you how to do it. Okay, let's use these yet unreleased Sonata modules, right? But these are very similar to the other ones. We have uh, Boston swing modules. We have the other ones that are over there and they always share that same 16 pin connector, right? So if you connect these guys in parallel, then uh, it's a 24 volt battery. And each one of these ones, it's one kilowatt hour. And so you'll have two kilowatt hours at 24 volts. But if you want it to connect, oh, and if you wanted to connect a BMS, all you have to do is use this little guy and you put it in there and you connect with this little ribbon connector, you connect it in here. And now you have these little screw terminals to connect your BMS. And so that's pretty straightforward. You could use it here and then you can daisy chain from here to here. And now those two are connected in parallel. And that same BMS is uh, managing these both uh, modules here. So you can do each individual module with its own BMS or you can do a master BMS that is shared throughout the whole thing. This becomes one battery right? Even those two modules. So there's that. We make one that is an 8S uh, for lithium iron phosphate batteries, right? And then this one right here. And so this one's a bit different because let's say that you don't want these two modules to be 24 volts. You want them 48. And so you would have to connect them in series. So the positive, uh, this is the positive, this is the negative, and then the negative you connect it to the positive, And then these two are going to be your exit points your outputs, right? And so you would have to put it through a BMS like this one here. Um, and so let's say that you wanna do that with that, right? So we'll use some paper here so that it doesn't arc. We're gonna put the BMS right here on top. Just the these surfaces are exposed, so we don't want this to arc and uh, short and stuff. So here is the adapter. And what this does is combines both of these two in series so that you can connect your BMS. So what you do is you put it in here and then you connect these guys, okay? And then you connect this guy here. Okay, so now your BMS is connected to these two modules. And all you would have to do is bridge this one right here, the positive and the negative of these two modules. And then the negative, this negative, who has to go on through the BMS. So this cable goes connected over here and then this is gonna be your positive and then this is gonna be your main negative for the, your load and this is going to be your main positive and then this one's going to go through here right and that's as easy as it is to connect a bms on two 24 volt modules to make them into 48 right these little adapters are going to be at jack35.com follow the link in the description and you will be able to buy them and these work with any of our batteries that have the 16 pin uh idc uh socket connector right 
later we also i guess we're gonna make some modules that are gonna have these things installed in there so it's be easier to connect the bms directly into the modules without having to use this right but for uh, right now a lot of you guys have these modules that we've been making for a, for a while and they have this connector and so this adapts that and it makes it super simple super clear and super clean to install a bms on your batteries so there you go thank you for watching this video and if you want to see uh, and buy one of these things just go to jack35.com the description the link is in the description we'll see you guys on the next one bye Oh, 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 oh,